you can see from these cut stems that they're aggressively growing back and they look good still they're just continuing to grow <laughs> but you come down here and my biggest stems this plant here they're getting attacked by aphids and I need to get them out of the greenhouse I mean I have learned to control aphids to a great degree um, it requires some work but I just don't want to deal with them this plant goes from here all the way down here and these two buckets right here are empty those two and then the next one you have is that one that one's got aphids on it too so the first one we're going to do is this one here and then we'll do this one here with the big vines these are rooster potatoes you can see it had put a few in there there were smaller potatoes I put in the bottom now these were also um, planted on the very bottom and uh, then we went up about soil to about right here and then we went on vacation they grew all the way past the top and just like the last potato review I had I had to reveal I mean I had to add uh, the rice holes after we got back off vacation so they had already grown way above without being covered so hopefully um, well we're gonna get what we're gonna get but hopefully there's some something in there so there's the tag let me try to uh, empty this pot in a way that you can see uh, the root structure and the everything within the pot before we go to searching for potatoes pot and the net cup all right let's put that down to the side let me sit down in my fancy bucket seat and I'm gonna attempt to turn this a little bit sideways um, so that we can see where in the bucket the potatoes may have grown now this is the very top and this is pretty much the bottom um, I can feel a potato here already all right I also see a potato right here and this was above where I planted it so that kind of kills the idea that that uh, potatoes only grow at the sea potato or lower I know that not to be exactly true uh, they grow they seem to be here's a big one right here that's about the middle of the pot it was uh, above where the sea potatoes were and of course the uh, plant itself grew a long way before I added the rice holes so here's a potato right here in the bucket pretty good size one and uh, let's continue from the top going down and just see developing not in the very very top which is probably good because you know potatoes will turn green and they can become toxic slightly toxic to us if the sun hits them they start to turn green here's one that was about right in here so we roll over here and this was another one close to the top fairly close to the top here, a little bitty one here, another little one here, wow, well, about medium level or higher with these, still working from the top down, trying to. circus acts going on now is it just extra for your benefit <laughs> all right that side continue on there's one there's one towards 
towards the place where the sea potatoes were. This has turned out to be a pretty good take. Seems to be about the best one I've had so far. This one was towards the bottom. So that's that's pretty much it. It's now disassembled. You can kind of tell in that little area or this part of the bucket here that there's some degree of where in the pot it is still but not much so we're just going to go ahead and finish it off now but what I've come to realize is they're not necessarily right at the bottom where the seed potato is they grow a little bit above and I'm certain below see a sea potato, see the clump areas, the roots are, I don't really see a definitive sea potato, that's the one that fell. potato all right that's it let's put them in a bag and weigh them all right all right let's do it the same way we always do it set the pounds and then here look in the bag and let's put it on here and see what we get oh how about that 3.09 pounds. We've broken the three pound mark. <laughs> I'm going to use the same bag. So I put the potatoes in here. And we're going to add the next one to these after we weigh them and we'll get an overall total. So these are what I call white rooster. And it's because there were some white offshoots, I think, from the rooster potatoes that I grew. This is like the third generation of saved uh, potato tubers to grow. Uh, but these are those potatoes. It's one of two buckets and the one thing that's kind of weird about this is how Long these vines grew compared to the other is both Both of them were the white roosters So I think that's pretty interesting to note So I'm curious what's going to be this is what The amount of roots that came through the net pot. I didn't show the other one. I mean there was nothing really there uh but this one, this one's got a little bit of roots coming out of the bottom. So uh, let's take a look at the reveal and see what's in this bad boy. So we got a level platform. And then we're going to dump this one. It feels lighter than the other one, so I'm not expecting a whole lot. This one. Okay, there's the whole pot. You can see the foliage there. All right. So, first thing, let's get rid of the net cup. All right. So, we'll kind of try to start from the top again. See if we got anything near the top. I'm going to do a little faster this time. Because I know you guys are getting tired of looking at the potatoes. <laughs> All right, here's one. And it is a lighter color potato. How weird is that?
all right that's pretty much it so I'm gonna shut it off and uh, we'll take them to the scale and see what they weigh all right we've zeroed out let's look in the bag and you know these aren't me trying to deceive you because the potatoes look different <laughs> I don't I wouldn't do that to you anyway that's not the type of person I am okay so that's two and a half pounds we'll add the other to it and that should be about five and a half pounds okay let's set that back to zero I've added them in the bag here that's all of them see that's a healthy bag of potatoes let's see if my scales are accurate are fairly accurate there you go. What did I say? About five and a half pounds. You couldn't get any closer to five and a half pounds than that. All right, let's take them on the deck and wash them off. All right, you know what comes next. The part I love the most. The real reveal. Look at that. It's Christmas. Look at all the colors. <laughs> oh, that's fun. I don't know why I like that. You can even see my shadow with the camera. <laughs> Alright, let me get them uh, finished washed off and I'll stack them up on a pretty plate or something just for you guys.